what is the one third, two third rule and how have you applied it personally? So one thirds, two thirds is if you're trying to create anything and get anything off the ground, one third of your time should be planning and two thirds of your time should be executing. This is something really, really hard for perfectionists to do because they wanna use all the time for planning and then waiting until stars, moon, sun align. And so what it does though, is it prioritizes your bias towards action because only when you act and experiment and try are you learning. And so again, if we only have a finite amount of time to do whatever it is that we wanna do, it should be, executing and learning and growing and reiterating the process. So for example, if you've got three weeks to plan for like a 5k, put your plan. Yeah, of course, get something in thought, but really hit your feet to the road. Like That's where you're going to learn and grow. And so that was one of the things we offer too. Another uniquely Marine Corps concept that I think is more and more popular in business is reverse planning. And so the way that we normally approach planning is from start and looking into the future. What I learned in the Marine Corps is look at the future and then create your plan from a backup. What should, what should you be doing the week before? What about the week before that? What about the week before that? And through the process of reverse planning, you actually learn that you're like lowballing your expectations, that you can take on more because it doesn't seem as intimidating. Like anything looking from where I am into the future seems big. But when you get to the future and go backwards, you're like, oh, okay, actually, this is pretty doable. And it creates those smaller steps that we keep talking about that are so important. Because if you take a backwards approach to the planning, you realize that, well, it's not seven giant leaps. It's actually just 14 short steps that I can do. It's like wanting to write a book. I hear, I'm sure you guys hear that a lot too. People coming to you because they want to write a book. Everybody has a book idea. And the process of sitting down at your typewriter is pretty intimidating. But if you want to write a book in a year, and you did a reverse plan, you're like, oh, I only need to write two pages today. <laughs> this is easy. That's not easy, but it's not, it's doable. <laughs> right. And then that blinking cursor turns into typing letters and words. Mm -hmm.